Hello, my name is Jeff Flaherty. I'm a member of the Education Services Lab Support Team. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the password recovery procedure on any Junos-based device. This procedure is useful in a variety of situations, including a lost, forgotten, or unknown root password, when a device is received from an asset recovery, to erase the configuration or reset the device to factory defaults, or if the configuration is corrupted. It's also important to point out that by taking a few simple steps when changing a password, you can avoid being locked out in the first place. These steps include testing a new password in a separate session before logging out of the first session, or using the commit confirm command, which will automatically roll back the configuration if it is not confirmed by the user. To recover the password on a Junos device, you will need physical or remote power access to the device for the power cycle, physical or remote console access to the device console port, and an asynchronous terminal emulation application such as Hyperterm, PuTTY, or Secure CRT. Okay, let's demonstrate the procedure. While connected to the console port, either remotely through a console server as I am here, or locally through a console cable, power up the device. As the device boots, watch for the message that says hit enter to boot immediately or spacebar for command prompt. It passes rather quickly, so be prepared. Hit the spacebar about here. At the loader prompt, first disable the watchdog process by using the watchdog disable command. This is done to avoid the device rebooting on its own if the watchdog timer runs out. Next, type boot-s and press enter to boot the OS into single user mode. The device will now boot into single user mode. For the purposes of this video, we will edit out the boot sequence here. When prompted to enter a path name for shell or recovery for root password recovery, type recovery and press enter. A series of messages will describe consistency checks, mounting of file systems, and initialization of management services. Again, for the purposes of this video, we will edit out the boot sequence here. At the CLI prompt, enter configuration mode. Set the root password using the set system root authentication plain text password command. And I will use Juniper1 as a password here. Retype your password here. After you've entered the password, commit the configuration. After the commit is complete, exit configuration mode and exit operational mode as well. Answer yes to the reboot the system prompt. and let the device reboot normally. Again, for the purposes of this video, we will edit out the boot sequences here. After the device boots, test by logging in with the root password you just set, in my case, Juniper1.
With the login successful, this concludes this presentation about the Junos password recovery process. I hope you found this information helpful, and for more information about this process, please see our various knowledge base articles located at kb.juniper.net. And also note, this and many other topics are covered in our Introduction to the Junos Operating System course. Thanks for your time today. Juniper Learning Bytes. View more at www.juniper.net slash learningbytes. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bytes. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.